Okay, once again we're back, and this time we're going to do uh, Fader von Butcherstein. We're going to do the Army Group Center attack in Operation Barbarossa. So we're going to pick Barbarossa rather than North Africa instead of moving uh, Libya. We're going to go with the invasion. We're going to pick the Army Group Center attack, which is going to be, we just finished the Army Group North for Fedor. Army Group Center is going to be uh, a lot more brutal battle, probably lose a lot more uh, units, and we're just going to have to, um, this is going to have to be the reality of it, so we're going to accept that, and then we're going to pick Barbarossa Center. We have Barbarossa North, which we just completed, which is eventually going to drive to Leningrad, and then we have Barbarossa Center and Barbarossa South, but we're going to pick the center scenario, and we're going to accept that. Um, and it's going to load up, and then uh, General Oberst James Mason is going to give me my combat briefing. Let's find out what he has to say. Guten Tag, Herr General. It's good to see you returning to active service. Yeah. I trust you've been keeping your skills sharp in the years since our campaign in France, yeah? Yeah. You're going to need them, because tomorrow we will be joining in Operation Barbarossa, the largest invasion the world has ever seen. Your unit's transfer to Warsaw is complete, and you are now formally operating under Army Group Center's command. Wow. A lot of victory axes to take here. Your task is to spearhead the invasion of the Soviet Union by advancing directly to its heart. Initial objectives are to eliminate all Soviet forces in the vicinity between Grodno and Brest. Mm. Air Recon has identified some major fortifications defending Brest. Should you choose to assault them, Field Marshal von Bock has authorized the super siege mortar Karl Gerhardt to be placed oh, at your disposal get the to pound these positions into oblivion. Oh, I can get you Carl may deploy the seat mortar by purchasing it from your prototype inventory. Be warned that such a uniquely massive weapon can never be reinforced as we have only built a handful of them. So use, so it, use it wisely and use it carefully. After crushing forward Soviet positions, you will be advancing directly to Smolensk. I strongly advise against any kind of wide sweeping flanking maneuvers. The Pripyat Swamp will absolutely bog down even your lightest panzers. As a final reminder, because it has been over a year since your last operation, be sure to check the equipment stocks of your troops. You wouldn't want to send them into Russia with obsolete weapons. Okay, this is interesting. I'd forgotten this. Karl Garat is in the uh, Barbarossa Center operation. It's this huge, gigantic mortar which is used for destroying fortifications like, um, you know, like here or um, Sevastopol, those kinds of uh, heavily fortified cities. It moves slow, but you can move it along train tracks, and uh, it's very useful if it can keep up uh, in smashing fortifications. So we'll be back then and set up the order of battle. I'm definitely buying the Carl Garad. I don't care what it costs. Definitely, definitely buying it. All right, be back in a sec. I have to set up the order of battle for today's Army Group Center episode. And this ought to be pretty interesting because there's a lot of heavy Soviet resistance through here. I think the main thing is, first of all, going to bring everybody up to um, maximum strength after the period of rest and refit. I've got to upgrade my Panzers. i got to decide where my anti-tank guns are going to go. Um, but I think the most important thing is to smash this fortification right here that uh, General James Mason told me about. So I think the way I'm gonna do that is I am gonna purchase this Karl Garat huge mortar thing. I'm gonna buy him and I'm gonna put him right here. And he's going to uh, assault that fortress for me. I'm also going to going to put my Pioneer Infantry, because they're there for, uh, they are the best for, I'm going to upgrade them with the new half-track, the new faster half-track. Um, they're the best for attacking fortifications like that, and probably my Grenadiers, because they're also going to be good for attacking those um, 
fortifications. And then I'm going to back them up with some artillery, uh, regular artillery. I've got my, uh, my big gun, my uh, MRS-18. I'm going to put him there. And where do I put my bridgers? My bridgers are going to go two places. I'm going to put one right there. Here, do I want to do it there? You know, my main focus is to wipe out, wipe out this fortress, take this airfield, so I can move a lot of my aircraft forward. Take this airfield up here near um, near the town of Grodno. Um, gosh, do I put both my bridgers down there? Yeah, I think. I think I do. I'm going to move one bridger over here, one right here, so I can see if there, there's some space in there I can get into. Uh, I'm going to put my best infantry unit here as well. Um, once again, I'm going to upgrade my Panzer IIc. I'm going to upgrade him to the recon version. Uh, looks like I have the same new units available. So I'm going to upgrade him to the Panzer II F recon version and put him out here. Because we want to get in behind and capture Grodno and capture that airfield as well. And I'm going to go with my cavalry there. And where's my other artillery piece? My light artillery piece is going to go here. Because I figure there's going to be a lot of Soviet troops around this area too. Um, I'm going to upgrade that armored car by adding another experience point to him. Panzer, see, Panzers are almost useless through here. Through this dense area, I need a lot, a lot of infantry. I'm going to go with my going to go with my regular Wehrmacht infantry guys here and here. I'm going to upgrade the Sturmpanzer as I did in the previous scenario to the Stug 3B with the uh, option to switch to the anti-tank mode. He'll come in handy there. Um, my Panzer IV is an anti-infantry tank. I'm gonna. Um, can I upgrade him? Is there a new, better 4F? Yeah, it's a 20 infantry attack. That's as good as I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna upgrade that. I'm gonna put him here to deal with some of those guys. Uh, I've got my motorcycle recon unit there. Place them in the center. Question now is if I'm gonna face Panzers, where are they gonna, you know, Russian Panzers, where are they gonna come from? I think um, I'm gonna upgrade my Panzer Jaeger to that. Uh, do I have that Dicker Max? Oh, I don't have the Dicker Max prototype on this scenario. Shit, must have lost that because I got the Karl Garat. So do I upgrade the Panzer Jaeger to just a regular anti-tank gun? No. I'm going to use the Panzer Jaeger out here. And I'm going to use my 88. They're going to start out as anti aircraft weapons, but they're going to be anti tank guns eventually. Um, there and there. My best. Yeah, this is my tank killer. I'm going to upgrade him. I, I did see the Panzer. Yeah, Panzer 3J. Tank killer. Yeah, I'm out of you too. Um, say hi to everybody. Um, I think there's going to be some Panzers down here. I haven't encountered a T-34 yet, so I'm, I'm concerned about that. Actually, I'm going to place him right, right there. Now I'm left with a 38T check tank. I'm going to put them there. And I got a Panzer 3F and a Panzer 1B. I'm going to upgrade the Panzer 1B to a Flamen Panzer, which is also good against infantry. So I'll put him in this area here. And then my Panzer 3F.
which I could upgrade to a 3G. Or even an H. We'll go one step up. And your 3G. Because I, I got a feeling there's going to be some armored resistance through here. Alright, that leaves me with my other Wehrmacht infantry guy. I'm going to put him there. I've got two paratroopers, so I'm going to use them to try to take this airfield. I suspect there's going to be a lot of air resistance, uh, fighter resistance there. And I'm going to see if I can buy another artillery piece. Yeah, I'm going to buy the rocket launcher. Wurverhamen. Wurverhamen. Put them there. All right, fighters, uh, Red Squadron. I'm going to upgrade them to a BF-109F, as I did earlier. And BF-109E. And I'm going to put my Blue Squadron, once again, upgrade to BF-109F. Put my Blue Squadron over here. Uh, my JU-87B. This is my this is my best guy. I'm gonna upgrade him to an R, and I'm gonna overstrength him to a 12. My Stuka and my other Stuka is gonna remain here. Um, JU-88. Can I upgrade that JU-88? Yes. To a DO 217E. Okay, gonna upgrade that. I think he's already at full strength. Yeah, he's at 12. So we'll put him here. We'll upgrade the, uh, we'll give the experience point to the JU 88. Place him there. And then I've got a couple of planes left. I'm gonna form Green, green Squadron over here with my BF 110D. My scout plane, my storage, which is going to come in very handy. And I've got a little bit left. Honestly, what do I need to carry out this mission? Probably need some more light tanks, so I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with the Panzer II Fs. I'm going to get one of those for. A southern pincher, pincer. Gonna add another infantry unit. Let's add another cavalry. Fight through the center. And planes. Yeah, I'm gonna probably get another BF 110. It's a very versatile fighter, the BF 110D, so I'm gonna add one. Green Squadron. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, this is going to be a tough scenario. It's going to be tough because there's a lot, there's a shit ton of resistance in the middle here. All right, let's go. Let's see what we have. Let's get started on um, on the battle. We'll be right back now that the order of battle is set. Thank you, Kitty Cat. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Okay there, I just wanted to get myself another drink this morning. While you were gone, I decided to purchase another BF-109E because I think there's going to be a lot of uh, aerial action here. So what I'm going to do is I'm now forming a third squadron, a green squadron. I've got a, a blue squadron, a red squadron, and a green squadron. And uh, that's what you need for a big operation like Barbarossa. So first thing I'm going to do is change the camouflage on these guys. It'll take a minute to load the camouflage table. So I'll change the BF 110D and the new BF 109E Messerschmitt to that color. And then, uh, then I'm going to change some of my uh, armored units which have experience. We're going to change them to the um, 
more worn out, beat up looking sort of dusty panzers because uh, of course they should be all cleaned up now. It's a brand new operation, right? But uh, the default is just too clean. So, all right, uh, enough of that stuff. So now we're going to get ready to actually launch the attack. So uh, I got to check and see if I have. I know I have some heroes. Some heroes. Okay, so I got a tank killer there. Uh, let me see if I can add a hero to him that will be useful. I've got lethal attack, which is better for aircraft more artillery, and I've got Prudent, so I'm going to make him Prudent as well. By the way, Prudent um, Prudent just means that I think he has uh, an advantage at the beginning. He gets a defense bonus for each point of lost strength. Okay, now if I, if I did get a hero called Field Repairs, I would assign him to this particular Panzer because there's no replacements available for this guy. When he loses, you know, a point in a, in a combat, that he's, his value is going to be 14. If he loses four points, it's going to be 10 and 8. And it, there's no replacements. The only way I can replace him is to move him back to a supply hex and give him a different model of tank, which I don't want to do because this Panzer III uh, J experimental tank with the very long 50 millimeter gun is, is an exquisite tank killer for uh, this particular scenario. He could take on T-34s. So that's, um, that's kind of important stuff. Um, so, field repairs means that any unit time he doesn't attack, he gets one unit of strength back. So if he gets down, knocked down to a 14 and I don't use him to attack in the next turn, he goes back to 15. And that's a way to keep his strength up with these prototype units, but uh, I don't have that hero right now, so I'm screwed. So the other hero I had was Lethal Attack which I think is the most useful for aircraft and artillery. I'm going to give it to, um, I'm going to give it to the Wurframen, Wurframen, because uh, I'm going to need a little extra oomph from that unit as I fight my way through this central. The main thing is I want to try to take the town of Bialystok, Bialystok, and I want to knock out uh, at first breast the fortifications around there and take these three airfields. That'll allow me to move forward. So those are my top priorities. All right, I think that's going to be it. We're going to end the deployment phase and get ready for the attack. And right away, we see that the enemy is much better equipped than we thought. Okay, I'm going to take this BF-109E, which is my inferior aircraft. I'm going to fly him up over here. And, ooh, complete kill. Good job, aerial ace. So it's going to be difficult to land my paratroopers in here because I don't know what's back there. And um, do we get a recon plane, a Storch? Yeah, I do have a Storch. He's over here. I'm going to use this Storch to fly right across this way. So he'll reveal everything that's down there. And yeah, there's armored defense there. So I, I can't get my... I'd like to bring in my Fallschirmjägers because they're good against fortifications and behind the breast fortifications, but there's tanks waiting there to knock them out. And there's also there's also infantry right here um, that are going to cause problems for my bridgers. So, all right, I'm going to use my other fighter to knock out that guy, but I don't want to do that. I wonder if there's any chance I could capture this airfield. I don't think so. Alright, let me use the big Carl Garat. Knocked him, knocked down the fortifications by four. Ooh, if I move the Pioneer and it's still an 11 to 3. Ugh, needs to be softened up more. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on the breast fortifications and I'm going to try to take this airfield. So I'm going to start by taking my best strategic bomber, the DO-217, and bombing the living shit out of those troops there. And I'm going to take my JU-88 and bomb the living shit out of them. Okay, now I'm going to move my bridgers up.
Panzer II recon unit forward. Use my pioneers to attack that air base. Ooh, took him out, took him out. Now I just gotta get rid of this guy. And I might, repeat, might be able to capture that air base. Uh, Panzer 3F. Will Panzer 3F take him out? No. Ooh, I took him out. Alright, now I'm gonna get the air base. Cool. Actually, let me go back and let me go back and crawl over their dead bodies first, and then take the airbase. That's the way we'll do it. All right, so I got uh, good. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this Panzer Three J forward to face any counterattacks. And what am I looking at? I'm, I'm looking at a BT Seven, T Twenty Six, another BT Seven, couple more B, uh, BT Five. I think I can fend off those armored attacks. I don't think those are going to be that big a deal. Meantime, I've hurt my pioneers, but I'm going to bring my grenadiers up here. We're not attacking. We're just going to defend. Um, and then I got my 88. Where can I put my 88? Oh, jeez. We could use them as an anti-tank. I'm going to use my paratroopers. I'm going to put them in behind the uh, Brest-Litovsk fortifications because that's where I want to land them to attack. Mm. If, I, if I switch this 88... The anti tank mode. The problem is, is that there's tons of infantry that can counterattack my 88, and they will, and they'll knock it out, and I won't be able to defend against it. So I'm going to move them up here, use them in an aerial attack. I'm going to put my Stuka out. Now, do I want to? Do I want to attack this armor? Am I worried about them, or am I more concerned about? The infantry. I'm more concerned about the infantry. All right, I'm going to use my other BF-109. Um, take out that Russian armor, which he didn't quite do. Damn you. I'm going to use this Fairmocked infantry. I'm going to move him... If I force march him, well, if I force march him, I can at least get in here and behind. So that creates an encirclement, theoretically. Okay, and I'm going to use my other Stuka. On those troops. Now, let's see. Four, five. Three, two. Two four. I'm gonna attack him that way. Three three. Two five. Okay, so I'm gonna move these Wehrmacht infantry up to try to take out that Soviet infantry. And then finish him off with my. Now oh, you know what? Yeah. No, I'm going to finish him off with my cavalry. My new freshly minted cavalry with no experience. So the next turn we ought to be able to attack this anti-tank gun more effectively. Alright, meantime, the northern part of the quest. Uh, I'm going to move the rocket launcher up over here. I'm going to take my... Um, less experienced fighter from the blue squadron and finish off that Russian bomber. And I'm going to take my more experienced fighter and take on this Ruski. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. 
So I can protect that Stuka as well. Okay, now I'm going to use my Flamin Tank. Oh, that's not, those aren't great odds. What if I just attack him with my infantry? Hurts him, and then my Flamin Tank will just about finish him off. Ooh, those are not good odds for the Flamin Tank, but I can come down with my Strict 3, and I can hit him. I can shell. What are my Panzer IV odds? My Panzer IV, if I bring him up over here and I hit that cavalry, I can hurt him. 4 3 with the Lamb Tank. Check Tank up to also hit them. It's a losing battle, but it's a more attrition. I'm going to convert this 88 to anti tank, and because he does anti tank support, if they try to attack either one of these two armored units with one of these other, uh, the BT 5 or the BT 7, the 88 will respond. And then. I'm going to move my artillery down and hit that cavalry. Now I'm going to I'm going to delay trying to cross over here this river. I'm just going to put my my Panzer II there to guard that river crossing. And I'm going to change strategies here and try to finish off the center group first. Panzer Jaeger there, and my recon car. Okay, so I have two. Um, I have my BF 109, and I have two BF 110s with very little experience. This one. Uh, he's in bomber mode now. I'm going to switch him to air-to-air -air mode. And I'm going to take out that Soviet ski fighter. And I'm going to make sure this guy's in air-to-air -air mode. And I'm going to use him to attack this other Soviet ski fighter. So I'm really going to, really going to hit their air force hard in turn one. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, I've got a pan. I've got a, uh, Stuka attack. All right, things are going really well. Things are going well. These rivers are a problem, but things are going really well. The um, the Brest-Litovsk fortress is an issue. But what I'll do is is he'll get ground down a little bit here um, on the next turn, and um, and then I'll reinforce these pioneers and between them and the Falsham Jaegers. We should be able to, and the, and the Karl Garat, we should be able to take them out. These two Russian tanks are a problem. All right, once again, guys, I'm going to hit the, um, I'm going to hit the end turn button and um, hope that, uh, hope that um, it doesn't, they don't all attack at once. And I, I, I keep trying to change the toggle. Up here in the upper right hand corner, there's supposed to be this toggle switch, which allows me to turn that off, but it doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to hit end turn. No, no, they're. Yeah. And they're attacking one. I don't get. I don't, I, don't, I don't get how this thing works. I don't get how it not works. It's weird. All right. First things first. Cavalry to attack the anti-tank gun. Motorcycle infantry. Uh, I want to move this infantry forward to attack that cavalry. Gonna move. 
this infantry forward to finish off that anti-tank gun. Gotta move my flamen tank down here. Artillery. Going to move my Werehob from um, to attack this cavalry. Ooh, almost completely wiped him out. Uh, gonna use my Panzer 38 here. 38 ski. Check tank. Get him ready to move across. Going to move my cavalry in to get the artillery piece. It's gone. The only only unit I have left is the uh, motorcycle infantry. Don't want to move him. Don't want him to get in the way. Got my 88. All right. So here's my here's my Sturmgeschütz. I'm gonna hit that tank. And then move out of the way. in to attack the BT what is it BT7 ooh took him out took him out Panzer 4 gonna move off the river and attack the BT5 should come pretty pretty close to wiping him out he does wow um okay so a couple things going to use my fighter to attack that bomber. I'm gonna use my BF-110. Take out that Soviet fighter. And going to use the other BF-110. Gonna switch him to ground attack mode and take out that tank. Artillery up to soften up the troops in the town of Grodno. All right, so I have um, I have a T twenty six. I'm gonna take him out with my Panzer Jaeger. Panzer two F. I'm gonna use to hit that tank. Hi there. And then I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the airfield. I'm gonna move my uh, scout car up over here. Take the town of Vilnius, and just outside Vilnius is going to be uh, an airfield. Rebase my scout plane, recon plane. Okay, things are shaping up nicely. I've got some reinforcement to do there, but that's okay. All right, now I need to get rid of the uh, other Soviet tank skis here. Get up to take out that BT, whatever it was. I'm gonna use my J uh, Panzer III J1. This is the only tank, by the way, that um, is going to be really effective against T-34, so I've got to try to preserve them. I've already lost two points in strength from that J-1. I'm going to move him forward. My Panzer III G. Uh, I'm going to move my armored troops forward, my tanks forward. Here's my Panzer II F. I'm gonna take this town. What's that town's name again? Corbin. And reinforce, because I can. I'm gonna reinforce my pioneers here. Alright, now I happen to know that stukas are very effective um, against fortifications. So I'm gonna use my best stuka, my JU 87R. To knock down the strength of this fortification a notch. Ooh. Yeah, fuck you. There we go. Gonna 
drop my paratroopers in behind so that it is completely encircled. I'm gonna hit him with my Karl Garat. It should knock him down by four. And my other artillery, artillery piece, which I'm gonna move forward. Now the odds are only three to one when I attack with my um, with my Grenadiers, which I'm not going to bother with. Okay, now it's time to rebase some. I'm going to uh, rebase one of my fighters over to this new airfield. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to rebase one of my bombers, my strategic bomber, my JU-88. I'm going to rebase to that airfield. Come on. Should give me the ability to bomb those troops there. Weakening them. And the only remaining holdouts here is these Soviet guys, these Soviet uh, troops there. And I'm going to weaken them with my JU 88. And I'm going to rebase my Stuka to. If I rebase it to that airfield, where does he go? Okay, he goes up that way. Okay, I'm going to rebase again. put all my fighters forward. Now this fighter, when I rebase him, he should be right up aligned against that bomber. He is. And he should be able to take him out. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay. I'm gonna move forward with my bridger here. And my other bridger there. Because I do have some rivers to cross further up around Smolensk. Or Minsk, actually. Yeah, see, I when I when, when I see tight ground like this, I don't think there's a lot of tanks there. I think I'm going to see a lot of armor up here in the open fields. So I've got to capture this airbase, move my Stukas forward, and my BF 110s, and then get some uh, anti-tank and armor capability up around uh, up around the town of uh, Vilnius. Because that's where the counterattack's going to be. That's where I want these two, these two Panzer threes also. Okay, anything else that I haven't thought of? Yeah, I'm not going to attack at a three to one loss. These guys, I'm going to try to cross the river and attack. Ooh, I drove them out. Ooh, I can. Ah, uh, shit. I could take that town, but if I do, I will lose the airfield. So, unless these bridgers can attack and wipe them out. Oh, which they did. Okay, so I can freely take uh, take the town of uh, Grodno. Cool. All right, that was a little bonus. And again, the main thing is taking out Brest at this point. And then I'll, I'll get the paratroopers, I'll move them. I'll move them up here to defend this airbase. Because, yeah, I do expect the big armored counterattack to come that way. Now that I think about it. If you just look at the terrain, they're going to try to choke point you here with a bunch of infantry and some artillery. And the tank battle is going to take place out here in the all right, let's see in a turn two. Okay, so they brought some troops forward. Let's see where we're at here. I'm gonna use the Karl Garat to attack the strong point. It's reduced to one, it's ground to almost nothing. Or you know what? Better yet, let's let's move the pioneer over. Let's move the pioneer in. We'll move the uh, grenadiers out. The pioneers in. Hopefully, they will take over. They will destroy the last bit of that fortification. They do. I can move the Karl Garat in to take it. I'm gonna move my Falschirmjägers out this way. I'm gonna shell them. 
Jaegers try to wipe out those troops. Now I don't know where those guys came from. It happened so fast because of the way they did. I, did they come out of the, Yeah, they came out of this town, so I'm going to move my Panzer II recon unit there and upgrade him. I'm going to move this 88 forward. I'm going to reinforce my Stug 3. Reinforce my Panzerjäger. Only got one battalion of them. I'm gonna take the airfield with my armored car. I wonder how far away those tanks are. See, this is one of the uh, this is one of the concerns when you when you inch forward like that. Is that if the enemy sees you, then they come and attack, and I'm not ready for them to attack yet. So, um, all right, I'm gonna use the rocket launcher to hit those Sovietsky troops. I'm going to move my Wehrmacht infantry forward. A couple of Wehrmacht infantry. That should take care of them. Yes, it does. I'm going to move my bridge engineers over here. And my two best anti-tank units. Bridgers forward. Reinforce my Flamin Panzer. Move my motorcycle recon forward and reinforce him. Move my cavalry forward. Both cavalries. Well, I might move this guy up north. My 88. I'm going to move my uh, other infantry artillery down south because I think there's going to be more resistance here around um, Baranovich, Baranovici and the airfield beyond, which is set up to take uh, Minsk. And, okay, so what are we going to do here? All right, well, first things first, we're going to scout ahead with our Storch, see what's around Minsk. Ooh, not a lot. Okay. My Panzer IV is an anti-infantry Panzer. My Panzer II scout car. Move him forward. All right, so I'm going to move my two Stukas... forward air base just outside of uh, Vilnius so they can attack because they're the best at attacking tanks on the ground oops that's not what I meant to do I'm going to rebase to there I'm going to rebase my two BF 110Ds which are both uh, set for ground attack mode right now I'm going to rebase them there should be able to get this one also. Hmm. My JU 88A is there. It's going to sign up those troops. And then I'm going to move my D, uh, my other big heavy strategic bomber, strategic bomber as close as I can to the front get a fighter plane up there to protect. I think I have room for another fighter. Where's my other fighters going to go? Let me get my BF-109 uh, Fs up there. I think that does it. I think that's all I can get up there. Yeah, that airbase is completely filled. Okay. 
it's going to be actually hard, difficult to keep my um, my fighters ahead of uh, my planes ahead of my troops are moving so fast. Okay, these two these two false are going to have to get back to this air base, and I was going to drop them in behind here, but. Or up here to protect the airbase. But now I'm not sure that's going to be necessary. Okay, that's Wehrmacht infantry. I don't think they have any. I don't think they have any uh, vehicles. So they're just going to walk up, march. attack there and just a scout where is the Soviet armor Ooh, it's not out there are they just gonna let me take Minsk without really fighting me over it hmm it's kind of starting to look that way all right uh, let me see what else I have here that's available to move that's it all right, so again, I'm going to attempt to um, slow down any Soviet counterattacks. Nothing happened. Okay, good. All right. All right, recon storage, I'm going to send him forward. Force march my paratrooper here. Drop him in on that airfield. My other paratrooper, Falschimjäger, I'm also going to force march him. So the plan is, yeah, to drop these two um, paratroopers in behind the base. I'm going to move the Carl Garot forward. Along with the pioneers. Uh, I'm gonna move my motorcycle infantry forward. Panzer four. Artillery forward. Uh, again, I'm going to be able to take it. Uh, these guys are so far ahead. I may just take these paratroopers and move them up to take the airbase at small at uh, at Minsk instead, because I, I'm I'm moving so fast here now. Yeah, I, could, I don't even need the paratroopers there. Cavalry. Infantry. I'll move him over there. Pioneer infantry. And Flamen tank. Good against infantry. There's like no resistance practically. Alright. Move the cavalry forward. Move the artillery forward. Uh, use the JU 88. turn so do a harassing attack with my fighters move my infantry forward get my panzers in around behind them move my 88s forward move your threes forward. I'm gonna keep 188 down here, kind of counter counter it. 
counterintuitive from what I just did. Move my strip three forward. Now I can move these Wehrmacht infantry by air. Which I can't do till next turn. Fighter to protect. Send out a fighter. I'm just gonna strategically, strategically bomb Minsk here to fight. My Stukas can reach all the way to this artillery piece. Oh, there's some tanks. Damn, they're so far back. Oh, is that a T-34? Oh, my first T-34. Well, you're gonna get an unpleasant surprise. Your armor may be tough in front. Top, you're not much. Okay, I'm gonna switch the BF-110 to ground attack mode and attack this BT-5. I think I've overestimated the Soviet resistance here. Also gonna move, this guy's already in ground attack mode. Let him hit that anti-tank gun. Looks to me like I'm gonna have more than adequate more than adequate force to counteract this Soviet, any Soviet counterattacks. Let's use this guy here as a, as a scout. Hmm. Wow. With this level of resistance, I don't think this scenario is going to take all that long. They seem to be scattered and weak. BF 109E. Yeah, I'll just harass you a little bit. Didn't really do anything. Alright, well, we'll wait for this attack next turn. Panzer 38T. I'm going to advance him all the way forward. I'm going to get Daring and put him out there in the open. Actually, no, you know, I don't want to do that. I got I got plenty of firepower behind him. Okay. Armored car. I'll hide there in the bushes. Okay, that's gonna do it for turn four. Okay, so they came out of, uh, of the town of Lida and attacked me on the Bridger. I'm going to take advantage of that with my infantry to take the town, hit the infantry, hit them with the cavalry. Should be able to do a crossing here. Move my grenadiers forward to wipe out those Soviet troops, and then I'm going to bring my 88 down and hit this armored car. Should take him out, did take him out. All right. Panzer two. Yeah, I'm going to use my uh, paratroopers to take this airfield just outside of Minsk and to surround Minsk. Wait a minute. No, no. no. I should be able to do this. Why do I? Yeah. What's going on? Alright, I got Minsk surrounded. I'm going to move my Ververhampton there. And my artillery. My motorcycle infantry. Hell, that was easy. Use my Panzer II to come down and finish him off. 
I haven't even used any air power yet. Panzer IV is going to cruise right along. Pioneer. Laman tank. Regular Wehrmacht infantry. Cavalry. Karl Garada might not even be able to put into service here. I'm going to establish a line here of tank and anti-tank units. Panzer II, Panzer III, Panzer Jaeger, recon car. Actually, I could go. I could go up and hit. Hit that to reinforce them out of their shell. And then use the Stukas to hit the tanks. Use the BF-110 to take out the anti-tank guns. Oh, I'm hurting you. I, I like this. And then I'm going to use the big... Uh, DO 217 to weaken those troops. Use the fighter. Long live the fighters. Wow. That's this is just too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these uh, troops, I'm gonna put them up in the air. Fly them to a forward airbase. I'm going to move this artillery piece forward. And I'm going to... I'm going to move my, some of my fighters and bombers forward. My Storch scout plane. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just actually kind of surprised at how easy this is. Send my fighters forward. Okay. Everything is working out quite well for me. I'm, I'm the Carl Garot, I'm not even going to... It's going to take forever to catch up. I mean, the paratrooper, I just... came in handy there. Okay. I haven't moved yet. Nope. Alright, that's the end of the turn. Let's see what the Ruskies do. Ooh, they tried to attack my armored car and they got hit. The T-34 is going to get taken out by my Panzer Jaeger. Took back the air base. Okay, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because I'm gonna I'm gonna just surround them. Now that I could secure that air base, which I couldn't before. Wehrmacht infantry up to the airbase and drop him down. Going to use a strategic bomber to dramatically weaken the 
Bell's troops. Go to use my J Panzer 3J with a little Stuka support. And take out this, uh, what is that, a T26? My, my Falsham Jaegers with a lot, little more Stuka backing. Take out that anti tank emplacement. God, they're just, the Soviets are just so weak and spread out. Alright, I'm gonna use my Falsham Jaeger down here. My Pioneer. up there. And my artillery. Use my Falsham Jaegers and my Panzer IV will come in and take that town right across the bridge. Sorry, I'm OCD. I just hate having those dead bodies on the ground there. All right, I'm going to move this 88 forward. I'm just steamrolling over the entire Soviet army at this point. Okay, I got a BF 110D. Yeah, I can hit that. T28. Even though the Panzer IV is. Not a good tank tank fighter. He'll do pretty well in that battle. Uh, let me send my Storch scout plane out. Again, there's almost nothing in front of me. Wow. Who do I want to hit? I want a JU-88. Those troops right there. Soviet rocket launchers. There's my other BF 110. Where can I move him to? Move him to the forward air base. Gonna move this artillery piece, the big heavy one, up to shell those troops. Because, yeah, I want to take the town of Polotsk. It'll give me a chance to get in behind and go after Vitbitsk. Vit Forward, I'm gonna reinforce those with my cavalry. It's just a, it's weird. There's like no resistance. I expected there to be a bunch of Soviet tanks right in this area hitting me when I when I took Vilnius, and they didn't didn't do anything. And we will uh, chug Karl Garat along. I don't think we're gonna need him. Everything's so spread out. light on the Soviet side of things. Okay, let me rebase this fighter forward. And this BF-109 as well. Alright. Things are looking pretty good here. Smolensk is not within sight, but it is within reach. Okay, I'm just going to put an end to this. Alright, there was only the one attack. Uh, I want to bring the 88 forward. And finish off. Ooh, he took a chunk out of me, but that's okay. All right, uh, I'm gonna move the Panzer IV down across this river. Move this artillery piece up to hit him 
first. And I'm going to JU88 him to soften him up. And the Panzer IV should be able to take him completely out. Yeah, he does. Okay, I'm going to move my other tanks forward. My Pioneers. Grenadiers are going to set up outside of the town of Mogilev. I'm going to move my rocket launcher forward. And then where is my strategic bomber, my big one? Well, I'm going to use them first here on these guys. takes takes the town of uh, Pitosk. Panzer three. This is my tank killer. God, I'm just carving through these Russians, these Ruskies. Just carving through them. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use the BF 109, the inexperienced one. Get him experience. Yeah, I'm going to get hit, but that's okay. Again, going to move the Stuka forward, rebase it. Going to rebase the 110 and start scouting ahead. The resistance is just almost nothing. Here to finish off this Katyushka. Katyushka? Katyusha? Rocket launcher, he's done. Wow. I am blitzkrieging the shit out of these Ruskies. I can't even keep up. I mean, Karl Garak can't even keep up. I'm going to move this Stuka forward to my most forward air base, which will be this guy up here near Polotsk. Okay, I don't see any reason to do anything else on this turn. Reinforce some troops. I think the next town to take is uh, the Vitbetsk. So I will hit him with the uh, Stug 3. Hit him with the DO 217. Bring my ar heavy artillery over. Again, just, there's nothing to worry about in counterattacks because there's nobody back there. Okay. Take that 
town. There's just like no resistance. Take out this airfield. Any aircraft unit? My flam panzer, flam and panzer. Everything's just wide open. Alright, where's my other heavy strategic bomber? There it is. No, that's my BF-110. Where's my JU-88? There you are. I'm going to use you to soften these guys up a little bit. Aren't too hard on my uh, Panzer III there. They got a little bit ahead of himself. I'm going to Stuka that artillery piece. And I'm going to rebase. My other guys. Wow, this is really... This is just overwhelmingly easy. And I'm going to take my Panzer 3J and I'm going to take this town outside of uh, Smolensk. Well, it's a suburb of Smolensk. All right. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm worried about this Panzer uh, 3G, but I think he'll be okay. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, he did take a beating. him. We're going to bomb him. Uh, we're going to gain some experience. That'd be a 10. He went for it all. DO 217. I should move him in a little closer, but why do I need to? troops here. Hit that artillery piece with my armored car. Move my grenadiers in. I'm going to use my flamin panzer to try to finish off so I don't have enough infantry here but oh well and I'm going to move my pioneers up I could have used my uh, rocket launcher to try to weaken those guys further so they aren't and then I'm going to shell the, uh, the main town alright it's all over but the shouting at this point DO 217. Hit him heavily from the air. Use my Stoker 3, who's already gained an experience point Good for you. I'm going to move in with my infantry and take him out. Take out uh, that part of the suburbs. Going to again move my artillery in. Going to artillery the shit out of these guys. And then my grenadiers are just going to march in and take the city, and that is that. Wow, Army Group Center went way easier than I thought it would, and uh, I'm pretty pleased about that. So Fedor has done a great job in the first two campaigns of Operation Barbarossa. So, all right, th that's it for Panzer Corps with Mike. Let's go back, and we'll do Army Group South uh, next on the next turn. Thanks for being here. You're the best. Bye.